Nobody wants to see a three hour long video. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to take off the stuff that you need to take off in order to access it. And then after that, I'm gonna do the easiest coil removal and spark plugs. That way you can see exactly what we're trying to do and how to do it. And then I'm gonna take off the hard ones, the rear driver's side, sorry, rear driver's side and rear passenger side. So first you gotta take off this clip right here. You just squeeze it. So we wanna take off the air intake so it's easier to get to everything. There's an eight millimeter right here. You just twist it a couple turns and that pops off. You do not want to get junk down in your motor so I would suggest covering this up. If you use a glove like this, it works great and you can also high five yourself after every successful spark plug. Good wiggle. Should pop right out. The absolute best view you can possibly get. This red clip right here goes straight up, just like that. And then you can actually depress right on the side right there to help a little bit and then wiggle the connector until it comes out just like that now that the connectors out we just need to take out these two 10 millimeter bolts holding the coil Now that those are loose, go ahead and wiggle this and get this out. And it'll pop straight out like that. You can see, still got dielectric grease on it. Looks nice and clean down in there. Now that the boot is off, what you wanna do is blast some air down in here. Just to make sure there's no stuff stuck in there that's gonna fall into your motor. Then you take your VIP of this whole deal, which is a swivel uh, spark plug socket extension. And you can see this really is going to make it a whole lot easier because it gives you just a little bit of curve that you need in order to get this done. I'll link that in the description. This particular one's gear wrench, but just about any of them work. And it's loose enough now for hand. the way undone and the beauty of course of using something like this is that it's going to hold on to the spark plug for you when you pull it out so you don't drop it and bang it around in there got the first plug out let's go ahead and take the second out there it is all the way down Match your old plug up with the new plug, ensure they're the same length, which they are. Pre-start it in your socket here. Uh, this is magnetic, so it holds it really well. That way you can let it down nice and easy. Straight into the hole without dropping it and messing up your gap. Run it in by hand as far as it'll go. That's it. Get your socket on there. And right there has bottomed out. This style does have crush washers. So you'll feel the crush washer crushing. 
as soon as the crush washer is done crushing, that's when you're done. Now, if you're smarter than me, then you'll read the manufacturer's specs and use a torque wrench and put it on exactly how you want it. Now, put a little fresh dielectric grease on your boots, right in the hole where it actually goes on to the spark plug. Feed it in here carefully again. Start your bolts by hand. That way you can make sure you never cross threaded. Tighten it till it bottoms out, and then just give it a little bit. Again, remember these are nut certs in plastic, so they're not real strong, so you don't need them real tight. Hook this back up. You're gonna make that nice click like it just did, and then push that down to lock it. All right, now it's time for the horrible ones, which gives us the bad names. This is all the way in the rear on the passenger side so you can do the same thing as before you need to get this clip popped up which is just like that so let me show you this little trick i just discovered to get this out so popping the red clip up is fine that's easy go right here to the bottom of the black plug push in and then push up and look how easy that just popped off instead of fighting with it you can't even see the bolt from here but right in front of this clip is the easiest spot to put your extension through and then spin it to it's all the way loose this is so far back here you really can't even get a camera angle that even shows this bolt back here for the coil pack. Alright, to get this bolt way back in the back off the coil pack, you need to take, this is a wiring harness right here, take your left hand and pull that up and sneak your right hand underneath and I can get my fingers on it and I now have it completely loose all right so all the way in the back this bad one I just took this off and let me tell you what to do in order to do that so the first uh, 10 millimeter which is right here in the coil pack which is actually behind here you can't even see it because it's so far back here uh, you want to use an extension that goes right through here. You know, actually sit like this around that clip and behind the wiring harness. That'll give you an angle to get that one. To get the back one, you have to use a very small quarter inch ratchet with a very short socket all the way back there to break it loose. And then in order to actually take it out, you need to take your ratchet off pull the wiring harness up like this and slide your hand underneath there and then you can manually finish it up the rest of the way so now in order to take the spark plug out again we got our little swivel socket spark plug socket with that right down the hole then I need another 3 8 ratchet so you stick that in there use another 3 8 extension and then you can get your ratchet on there and get it loose this comes out nice and easy putting it back back in same thing in your magnetic bit tighten it by hand as far as it'll go Which is 
those right there. These do have crush washers on them, so you'll feel when it bottoms out. Now we've bottomed out. You can feel the crush washer giving. And then right there, the crush washer is done. And you want to torque it to your manufacturer suggested. All right, let's try to get to the very, very back plug now. I'm going to take my extension actually off and just get it dropped down in the hole. Then I can get my ratchet underneath the wiring harness there. There we go. I think we're on there now. Again, the hand has to go underneath the wiring harness, and then your left hand can actually be turning the ratchet, or vice versa. There it goes. And it will come out. Again, you definitely want this swivel spark plug socket because it being magnetic, it's the only way you're going to get that out of there. Goes back in, straight on the extension tool, just like that. Alright, now to get the coil pack back in here. Come up over top, back here, and then get your other hand underneath so you can guide the boots to start into the holes. And there it goes. You just pop down in there. And again, pull up on this harness. Get your hand under here. Get your bolts in as far as you possibly can with your hand. Because of how tight it is. The ratchet. You don't want to spend any more time in there with the ratchet than you have to. Alright. That's tight. This one's not too bad, so I'll do this with the ratchet. Go into this bracket here and the wiring harness. And not too tight. Get the back one. By going underneath here. All right, now we are on the driver's side. Let's try to get the all the way back coil. I'm going to go ahead and use the power tool because that way we can speed up this video just a little bit. back up in here and get to that other one a regular ratchet with a 10 millimeter work just fine for these as well
If your ratchet does try to get stuck on these bolts back here, uh, just keep in mind after it's loose, it does move and wiggle. So you can just tilt it like that and pop it right out or tilt it up if you need to. Uh, this clip is hard to get to and undo. So I'm actually going to just leave it on there. And I'll just move the coil pack out of the way, but leave it plugged in. like that and set that up all right for the very back hole back here you reach underneath the booster from over the driver's side fender and now I can get in there to do that you may have to experiment around with what gives you the exact reach you want but I just took that gear wrench tool and then I put a half inch ratchet on there with an adapter that way it gave me about an inch more length and that inch made all the difference in trying to get back in there so now it's loose enough to do it to be hand tight Basically got it the whole way out now by hand. And it does have room to sneak up behind the brake booster. All right, let's put this one back in. Tighten it up as far as we can get it by hand. Then I'll sneak back in there with my, in this case, half inch ratchet with a 3 8 reducer. Which gives me just the right all right got my ratchet off and sneak this out right into the next hole I've said it a couple times already, but would not want to do this without a swivel. All right, half inch ratchet with 3 8 adapter is the right length again. And just broke it loose. Wow, the wind just kicked up really bad behind me. Anyway, as soon as I get it off the crush washer and it's free spinning by hand I'll take this ratchet off take it the rest of the way out by hand again and back in
and there you go they're the hard ones the uh, rears on both sides so basically just have an assortment of extensions and uh, adapters and you know you can get it done and there we go that was the hard ones done uh, if you have any questions ask them in the comments uh, just having a, a assortment of uh, extensions and and whatnot hopefully it gave you the confidence to do it yourself uh, you definitely can do it it's just a pain in the butt and takes some time